T-minus two days before the world's richest man sets sail for space. All systems go for Jeff Bezos and Blue Origin's new Shepard rocket. The launch crew is ready, the vehicle is ready, the crew is ready, and the flight director is ready. We really want you to come with me. The crew featuring Bezos, his brother Mark, and the soon-to-be youngest and oldest astronauts. How are you? Oh, honey, I couldn't be better. Wally Funk, one of the few to train for Mercury space missions back in the 1960s, is 82 years old. She'll be joined by 18-year-old Oliver Damon, a last-minute replacement after the original winner of a $28 million auction backed out. I feel a responsibility because I'm the youngest in space and to get more people interested in space and not even just space with science. Release, release, the launch release. coming just over a week after another billionaire got his astronaut wings. Sir Richard Branson's Virgin Galactic Unity spaceship was the first to soar to the edge of space, Walk giving the crew space. roughly four minutes of near zero gravity and out of this world views. It's a complete experience for lifetime. Blue Origin making it clear their ride is different, starting with a rocket, taking off from West Texas, no support aircraft needed. Where Branson skim space, Bezos and company will cross the 62-mile-high Carmen line, recognized internationally as the edge of space. For now, launch time stands at 9 a.m. Eastern Standard, Tuesday, July 20th, a date paying tribute to the astronauts who paved the way. What was accomplished on that historic day when Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin stepped on the surface of the moon was an inspiration to me personally, to an entire generation, and to the world. And come Tuesday, a whole new generation will be watching. And Morgan's with us now from Van Horn, Texas. So, Morgan, this is the first of what they hope will be many Blue Origin launches, right? Yeah, Kay Blue Origin says they have plans in place to have two more flights this year. And important to note, they'll be able to reuse the rocket that will be launched on Tuesday. If everything goes according to plan, those flights should be happening in September or this October. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.